Coach, how are you guys uh, holding together? And it was another difficult loss uh, last week against uh, Winchester, and, and sometimes it can take a toll on a football team. How are you guys, uh, at least at this stage, feeling about your, your ball club? Well, I mean, I still think we got a chance to be a pretty good football team. And, uh, you know, we're still, I mean, kids are still working hard. They're still coming to practice. I mean, we don't have anybody trying to make excuses for not being here. Uh, so from that standpoint, everybody is still pretty positive and upbeat. I mean, I think, you know, obviously you don't want to be 0-5, but... You know, at the same time, we've done some positive things this year, and we've got, you know, there's games that we've been right in that either they slipped away at the end of the game or, or whatever. So, um, you know, right now everybody's still pretty upbeat and still coming to practice and working hard. Talk about last week. Again, it was a tough loss for you guys, and uh, I would imagine one of those games where maybe a break here or there, who knows what happens at the end. Well, you know, we, we kind of – got off to a bad start both a little bit offensively and defensively uh you know we gave up some long runs early in the game which uh you know after halftime you know it was pretty even game uh but you know we just spotted them too many points in the first half with you know like i said there you know they had big runs i mean it was you know 75 yards 61 yards 58 yards or whatever it was so you know their three touchdowns they got in the first half were all on plays where we just broke down and either somebody didn't cover a gap or we over pursued and they cut back so you know those are all things that are fixable and and we fixed them for the most part in the second half it was just you know for whatever reason you know in the first quarter and early in the second quarter we got you know we got blitzed a little bit and uh you know i thought offensively we played better in the second half as well but you know you got to play a whole game Something to build on, though, as you said in that second half for this week, as you play a, a Union County football team that loves to throw the football. Talk a little bit about that animal you'll be playing on Friday night. Well, I, they do like to throw quite a bit. I've seen, you know, depending on which game you watch. But, uh, you know, I know against Winchester they threw some, but they did a lot of running against Winchester as well. They got a really quality uh, running back. I don't know his name, but number 28, uh, you know, he's a strong, hard runner, and, you know, it's hard for him to – you know get taken down with one guy and uh you know he makes a lot of people miss and he makes a lot of people pay for you know he's a punishing runner and uh you know he's a big strong kid and uh he's a pretty good kid for him so and then they got some receivers that are pretty good and their quarterback throws the ball around really pretty well so you know we can't just focus on stopping the run because they can throw and we can't just worry about throwing because they can run so you know we just got to be prepared play good solid defense and you know hopefully uh, slow them down a little bit do they remind you of anybody you've played already this year um no not really i mean they're they're kind of their own little uh, unique you know unique uh, person so or unique team um you know, I, I think probably you could kind of maybe equate them a little bit with uh, Hagerstown in terms of some of the things they like to do, except they don't use the quarterback as much as Hagerstown does. But, you know, a lot of their schemes are similar to that. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, each team's a little bit different. You know, we play a lot of different style of teams. Last, last week, you know, Winchester just lined up, you know, unbalanced strong and just tried to pound it at you so you know this week they're you know they're going to run a little bit of counter and a little bit of trap and uh some sweep and stuff so it's a you know we got to prepare each week for something a little different how are you guys health wise going into this one um actually we're we're pretty healthy right now we got a couple kids back last week uh you know we uh britain west played a little bit last week he had gotten hurt in the in the uh, centerville game and he's starting to round back into shape a little bit and uh you know, we got Alex Hokey back last week, and, uh, you know, he didn't have a huge game, but he, you know, he had some positive yards from fullback and played a little bit of linebacker for us, so that's a that's a positive for us. And then uh, uh, Jeremiah Holder was back. He had 129 yards last week, so, uh, and Matt Fields was eligible to play, and, and he, he had 47 yards on four carries for us, which, you know, if we can continue to get him in, involved in the offense a little bit, that takes a little bit of pressure off a little bit of pressure off Jeremiah, uh, you know, after he had that huge game of 320 yards, you know, everybody would go, oh, hey, you got to stop 25. Well, hopefully with Matt rounding back in and coming back in and being eligible to play from, from uh, you know, getting his practices in that, uh, you know, we can hopefully get teams to have to focus on more than just one runner.